Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, and create a part file here in Autodesk Inventor, and we're going to concentrate on just doing the 2D drawing at the moment. So we're going to go ahead and click the X here on this opening file just to just to avoid any confusion. So we go ahead and close that. Now we have a kind of a clean screen, right? Now there are a couple ways to get a new part file. Um, we can go to File uh, New, okay, and we can do Part all these things. We can click the new button. Uh, something a lot of people do this sheet metal IPT and standard IPT sometimes people have a problem um, you know because they'll click uh, the wrong one you don't want sheet metal IPT you want standard IPT the easiest way I think to do is just go new um, so I click the down button on new oh click new and it goes to standard IPT that's new in 2017 or probably the easiest way to do it uh, is to go up here and do uh, do a part file okay that's probably the easiest way. That's the thing I was looking for there. Um, also, if we take a look at this ribbon, notice that this ribbon, um, we can do a lot of different stuff, right? Okay, so notice it's a multi, um, it's a multi uh, click thing here. So this minimize but ribbon panel here, see how if I click it like four times, it just kind of cycles back around to the original view. Okay, so we're gonna go to uh, this down button on the new icon right up here. And we're going to click part and this is going to open up part file whoops okay so that's going to open up part file sorry about the glitching there um, so now we're in a part file and we're going to go ahead and we're just going to, um, to create a new uh, two-dimensional sketch, what we have to do is we have to click on this thing right here. So the very first thing we're going to do is create a 2D sketch. So we're going to click on Start 2D Sketch, and now we have to choose a plane. Now, now later on this might matter to you. Initially, it doesn't really matter. So let's just choose this XZ plane. Notice how it highlights, how the, 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 the changes, you know, the, the border changes. We're just going to go ahead and click right there. So now we're inside the 2D sketch. So, so Inventor has two modes, right? So, so right now we can tell we're in a 2D sketch in a couple of different ways, okay? One is that we see this crosshairs with the origin point here, this little white point in the middle. The second is we see this finished sketch right up here, all right? And the third, we look over in the browser area right here and we see that sketch one is highlighted and everything else is grayed out. So we know we're inside of sketch one, okay? All right, so let's just go ahead and make a, a couple things here. So the, the drawing in Inventor is a little bit different, okay? So if I click on line, it's a click your mouse. So push down and let up click, move your mouse and click again. Okay, that's how you make a line, all right? But notice that my tool doesn't end, right? So, so my line is kind of stuck there. So let's say I want to make another line. I go ahead and I click and I click, remember these are all left clicks, so I click again. Um, and notice as I'm drawing, these dotted lines are really helpful. And finally, to make a closed shape, watch as I go right there, that's the green dot. See how I move this up and see that green dot right there? You, you wanna see the green dot, right? Okay, and I finally, I click again. All right, now that stops the tool, but what if I get halfway through a shape? What if I just only wanna make a couple lines without, uh, without actually finishing up the thing? I can click move the mouse, click, and then I have to right click and cancel, click cancel, okay? Now the heads up display that we just I just showed you is very interesting. So I can click on line, I can notice this dotted line that comes down, I'll talk about that in a minute. So I click, move the mouse, click again, okay? And now what I can do is right click, I can push and hold the right click. So push and hold the right click move to the command I want. See how I'm still holding down the right click? I can move to the command I want, which is cancel, and I can let up on the right click. Okay, so it's a one kind of extended click operation of that menu. That's called the heads up menu, okay? All right, um, so uh, did you notice that as I'm drawing here that these little, uh, these lines, are, so let's say that I click to make a line Notice that, do you see that little dotted line that pops up there? It's like right here coming off the end of this thing. So notice when I get right here, there's a dotted line here. Okay, also notice that, um, see this little red, there's a little red icon 
see how if when I get to right here, see that little square, that little gray square that pops up? As you're drawing, Inventor is applying what are called constraints. Now, we're not going to go into constraints right now, but just be aware that, you know, as things don't act the way you thought, it's because as you were drawing, there were it was applying constraints. Okay, we'll go over that later. All right, we're going to go ahead and click OK. Um, you can also, sorry, when you're getting out of a tool, you can click Cancel. You can also, uh, you know, click your point, and then to get out of the tool, you can right-click and release on OK. All right, so that is the line tool. Next, let's go ahead and do the circle tool. So we're going to click on the circle. We're going to go click, move the mouse, click again to set the circle. Okay. And as I'm drawing, the thing about Inventor when everybody starts out, and the thing I've kind of failed to do on all these lines, is we dimension every last thing. Okay. Uh, and we'll go over dimensioning in just a few minutes. But, but just know that we're just practicing the tools right now. Um, so, so we're not going over dimensioning, but just know that we have to dimension. Okay, next is the arc. We're going to click, move the mouse, click again, and then pull up the arc. See how I can pull it back and forth, and then click it a third time to actually set the arc. Okay. Now, on all these tools, they have different varieties, right? So this arc, I can go down and choose different types of arc. On the circle, I can go down and choose different types of circle. Okay, so let's go down and choose ellipse now on the circle. The ellipse is a click, move the mouse, click again, and then pull it up. Okay, so let's try it again. So click, move the mouse. Notice how it doubles the size of that, that line, right? Click, move it up to get your ellipse, and then click again. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is the, uh, the rectangle. Okay, so notice in rectangle, we can do a lot of different things underneath the rectangle tool. All right, so the rectangle two-point rectangle, we're just going to click, move click all right notice these icons those are all the constraints that have been complied to lines so this is like for example this these two lines are perpendicular that's the perpendicular constraint these two lines are parallel that's the parallel constraint right this line here is a uh, is vertical that's the vertical constraint or horizontal constraint i'm not sure which okay so uh so there we have it all right so uh we can also make uh, slots notice that so we get slot right Whoop. like that slot okay we can also do a polygon okay the polygon tool we're going to choose the number of sides so in this case i'm going to do eight sides i'm going to click move the mouse click again and there we have our polygon right click and okay all right so uh so that's our basic basic 2d drawing and inventor uh give it a shot and good luck